So I thought we'd start out by painting a spoon. How does that sound, Curtis? Yeah, that'd sound good. And I've got, I've got a couple here, but I don't know if they can see it. So this is one. Uh, is my camera good enough to where you can see that? Yeah. And I've got one similar one here, I think. Okay. So that is a base coat of uh, slate. And then I put a thick coat of white on it and hit it with the, oh. uh, hit it with the paint stripper. And uh, most of it, most of it popped off. If you let it sit for just a little bit, maybe 10 minutes and then hit it with this paint stripper, you'll get a little more white on it that might, that might look better. Now here's one. What, what is this one? This one's, well, this one's the same thing, but I put a lighter coat of white on it, still thick, but lighter and didn't hit it with the, with the heat gun with, and, uh, and rubbed it down. And you see, you know, I hit those uh, corners to highlight, uh, to highlight the edges, you know, so. Uh, but by paint stripper, do you mean heat gun or those oh, synonyms? It's, 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 yeah, 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 I mean, I mean heat gun. Yeah, 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 right. Thanks for clarifying that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is the spoon we carved uh, together in September, back when we did a spoon carving class together. Um, I had one question about it, which is why this tape is hanging off of it. I had to remind me to ask you. I have some tear out up here. Now, would you concern yourself with that? I don't know if you can see that. Um, it depends on how bad it is. Uh, you know, and, and yeah, I mean, one thing you can do, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's not even in the, that's going to be hard to get your tape to paint that. Um, yeah, I might, I might fix that. I mean, if it was on up the handle uh, and say you had some kind of gnarly grain up there that you just couldn't, you just couldn't get uh, straight without, uh, cleaned up without uh, scraping and sanding it. And if you don't want to do that, then I just put thicker paint on it and pop it and crack it and it'll kind of fill it in. But down there, uh, you can kind of, yeah, you wouldn't be able to to cover that with the paint. So, yeah. Okay. And so you're uh, stopping the paint job in some place in here. Is that right? You're. Yeah. Yeah. One like that. Some. some most of my spoons have definite beginnings and end uh, elements on them. And so you don't have to put tape around it, but that one doesn't. Yeah, there's one right there. So you can flip it over to, and and see it. Um, yeah, there you go. So uh, the one that doesn't, you have to put tape around it. Okay, I have some tape. So where would you put it here? Just down here at the neck? Yeah, just down there somewhere, you know. And uh, let it, oh, okay. yeah, that'd be hard to do right there, I think. Might be able to do it there. Oh, where would you put it? I move it up a little bit, but, uh, you know, just because it's easier to get around it. Uh, yeah, the tape does want to bunch up here. I can see that. Yeah, and you're just going to have to kind of crinkle it and bunch it up. Uh, okay. I usually, I usually will make just one point where it crinkles on either side, right up at that corner right there. There you go. Okay. That didn't stick. Oh, I see, I've got a flap here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Got it, okay, and smash it down, make sure it's there. Okay, and if you got so, some... So, Oh yeah, that's that's a big brush for that, uh, but you could do it. I don't see any reason why you couldn't do it. I just have what, little, what do you use? I just whatever's lying around. To some, I've got a couple of little brushes that are about. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I got a couple of little brushes. <laughs> if, if that's your smallest brush, that's what I'd use. <laughs> uh, I might have something else. Well, I got you know where. Where, that Don where, Williams told me I should use for shellac that are about 
three eighths of an inch. You have to use a microscope to even see the things. Uh, but I, I'm not sure where they are. I'll use this. Yeah, I mean, for that spoon right there, it won't make any difference. Uh, so I'm dipping it in the paint a few times and wiping it off to get the thing loaded with some paint. Um, you don't want too much paint on here because it'll run everywhere. So having a drier brush is safer than having a wet one. Um, and then kind of keep your brush at, you know, about a 45 degree angle or less uh, to the surface. You don't want to be coming in there like that. Um, and what else should we say about it? I don't know. That's, uh, uh, I make sure there's no run anywhere and make sure you haven't drugged the brush off on any part of the spoon to where there's going to be gobbed up right. somewhere. For instance, there. So yeah. if you get really close to there, I've got a puddle of paint right at the end of the, um, if we can focus on it. Right at that finial there. Yeah, at any rate. Um, so I'm going to go somewhere else and get some of the paint out of my brush so that I have a drier brush and then come back to that point and that'll get that paint out of there. Otherwise, you'll just spend the rest of your life trying to get it out of there because the, br the brush is still too wet to do you any good. Um, now, I got a little bit of foam in this paint. Yeah, Should I be worried I, about that? Well, I mean, I'll usually dip the foam off and then you'll still have it end up with a little bit of it. And I keep the paint stirred up to where uh, the foam stays back down in there. Although milk paint foam, especially old fashioned milk paint, I don't know if real milk paint foams like that. Uh, it, uh, it, it'll soon get all up in my brush and I have to just squeeze it out when I'm painting chairs. Uh -huh, yeah. And then I try to land the brush while it's moving. So if I put the brush down and then pull it, you can see I get a start mark. Um, you can see where that brush started. Whereas if I pull it forward as I'm laying it down, it feathers into the, I almost said the cut, the stroke, and you don't get these sort of um, marks where you're laying down that brush. 